All right, Salawam. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakakwadas. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? The title of this lesson speaks for. Okay? Why would you want to build a future here in America? Okay? Being as though that this place known as America is going to be destroyed, okay, with thermonuclear missiles, okay? But before America is destroyed, okay, there are certain uh, calamities that are going to come to America, okay? Like the dollar bill is going to collapse, the, uh, there's going to be a famine, okay, martial law, terrorist attacks, okay, America is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, it's also known as uh, Egypt, okay, modern day Egypt, uh, modern day Assyria, modern day uh, Rome, Greek, Greece, and uh, Persia, okay? But uh, all of these uh, places that I just named, okay, they all came to an end, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> I wanted to get this scripture. Oh, it's also modern day Sodom, Sodom and uh, Gomorrah, okay? But of course, you know, I gotta, gotta, Start off when you say uh, that America is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah and all these other places wrapped in one. This is uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture, scriptures might have hope. Okay? And our hope, okay, is not in America. It's not in the, you know, hoping that America uh, another year, another six months from now, you know? The, the, the thing is that, especially if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, this, this place known as America is, is trash, it's garbage, man. Okay, it's filthy. And um, <laughs> it, 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 it's nothing new. Okay, because it's, it's all of these other countries or, or uh, ancient civilizations put in one. Okay? Um, I'm going to get this scripture. It's um, 1 Corinthians. The uh, second uh, chapter. Okay? Because um, they're going to think, if you, want, if you want to have a future here in America, right? They, they start you, they start indoctrinating you when you're a child, okay? What do you want to be when you get older, okay? And um, when when they do make you uh, uh, do that in school, they say, what do you want to be when you get older? Uh, what they say, okay, well, you could be a firefighter or, you know, you want to go to college and you want to, you know, do these things. You know, not not really telling you that when you when you get older, that you're gonna have way more responsibilities than you do as a child. You know, so America already indoctrinates these children from a young age into thinking that well, you can be what whatever you want to be. You know, but then when you get older, you know, if you ain't if you haven't already been indoctrinated with this 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 uh life when you get older you realize that this place is just it's trash man you know a lot of the uh american dream is not a re reality for our people man because we we got to go through so much bullshit just to, to 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 attain anything you know like i said you go to you go to college you know just to to try to um make a living, you know, 
Like, that's trash, man. I'm going to get this scripture, 1 Corinthians 2. And uh, let me get uh, the fourth verse. And my speech and preaching was not with enticing words of what man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the power, I mean, of the, of the spirit and of power in this, in this society, right? They look at you like, you know, if you don't know, uh, uh, like let's say something you you trying to apply for a job, well you don't you don't have uh, the credentials that we need you to have, you know so you're you're not really qualified, and then they have a, a such thing as being overqualified for a job. So it's like, I thought I went to school to to try to get a fucking house, you know not a house but a career, you know and then if you do get a career or, or a house, you know. Let's say that's one of your things. They put you in a. They put you in even more debt. You know, you get debt for for going to college. Then you get debt for going into to try to go buy a house. You know, and it's like, <laughs> why? You get a woman, and then that's guess what? You can't spend your time with your woman or your children. You know, but that's like having having more bills. You, you get a woman, you don't spend no time with her, but but then she end up divorcing you, cheating on you, and taking half of your shit. So so why what the hell you want to build a, a future here, man? It says um that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God, which we know his name God is Yahweh Basim Yahusha. So when it says the, the wisdom of men, you know, these people make it seem like, oh, I went to, to Harvard or I went to whatever school that you went to. You know, that's the wisdom of men, man. You know, that, 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 uh, they don't really teach you nothing in school and in, in college or, or high school or middle school. If you're going to go to school, yeah, you get the basics and stuff like that. You know, of course it's, it's, it's cool to, to, to get your diploma or your, your, uh, GED. You know, but the whole the whole aspect of going to college and trying to uh, build the future here, you know, that's that's one of the biggest lies, man. Because you shouldn't want this place to, to, to go on much longer, man. And a lot of people they don't know what's going. They think that this this is all there is to life, man. You know, that you was just born to pay bills and die. You know. Meanwhile, you got all these fucking people with demons on on them all around you you know just being being like fucking leeches and shit you know in your life you know and i'm talking about the government the, the people that you know this is how big we speak wisdom among them that are perfect so when we as israelites we speak about the, 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 the stuff that's going to come to America, we speaking on to the ones that, that it's meant for. Okay? That know that, okay, well, while we here, we got to make a living, you know? Because, the, you know, if you don't, if you don't uh, work, you don't eat, so you got to have a job. You know? You don't want to be necessarily a bum, okay? But then, to, to, to add the balance to that, you know that this shit, this shit don't mean nothing, man. You know, that that having a going to going to fucking college and the whole graduation ceremony, like fuck that shit, man. You know, why do you need that certificate? You know, for anything. Oh, we gotta get a certificate for marriage. We gotta get a certificate for uh, if you get your birth certificate. If you got a child. You know, you got a certificate for if you, you know, completed a program, graduation ceremony. Like, come on now. You know? And uh, these women in this world, they wonder why, and I'm talking about like in this world, America's world, you know, they wonder why we as uh, men don't, don't, uh, don't really mess with them, man. You know? Uh, how are we going to, how do you expect us to be uh, down for you when you're down for the so-called white man? Because if you want to build a future, 
in this this society, then you basically saying that you you believe in a so-called white man, man. You know? And a white man is a fucking devil. You know? It says, um, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. So all these rulers and stuff like that that you see, these people are going to be our servants, man. You know? We don't want no future here in America. We want the future here in America to be destruction, man. You know, we want out the future that the one who created everything to give us, man. You know? But see, those things are going to be blessings, man. You know? Not not debt on top of debt. You go into the debt block, it's, it's just nothing but debt, you know? The different ways to, to accumulate debt. It says, uh, but we speak the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Yahshua in a mystery because everybody can't get it, man. Everybody don't want to get it, you know? You go to these jobs or you get you get your 401k, you know? They, they bumping up the retirement age. <laughs> They're bumping up the retirement age. To, to, they're trying to make it like 70, you know? Probably, probably be higher than that. Be damn near 80 years old retiring and shit. You know, and it's like at that point in time, like you you ain't live no life. You work all your, your, your life for, for a job that, that'll never be able to, to, to pay you what your life is really worth, man. You know? That's why the scriptures go into what would a man give in exchange for his soul, man? Because these people are basically giving away their future, okay, their whole life, their livelihood for for uh, fiat money, man, okay? For for stuff that isn't even, like, valuable. You know, this, the money ain't valuable. You buy, you buy, you use the money to buy things of value, you know? That money ain't valuable. You can't, once you get that money, once once the dollar bill collapses, you can't do anything else with it. It's an uncertain rich, you know? So, um, I'm going to go from there to, uh, Second Peter. No, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get First John, uh, 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, right? Neither the, neither the things that are in the world. You you go to you go to uh, you know get a get a decent job or college in hopes of getting a decent job, okay, but you go or, or starting off your business or whatever, whatever. Even if you go to trade school, you know you still that some of these trade schools they uh, they require you to pay pay the money back, you know, but um, you go to these things. In order to, to to what, basically, if you if you have the mindset of a person in America, you go to go to these uh, schools and you get these jobs or a, a decent paying job, a good paying job, to, to to live a luxurious lifestyle, okay, according to America. And um, what what's that? You, you you know having a nice car, okay. Some of these jobs give you a, you know, a, a dental uh, uh, plan and health insurance and all that stuff. And it's all just an illusion, man. You know? Of course, if your job give you some, some stuff like that, use it. You know? The scripture says, use the world, don't abuse the world. You know? But you have people out here that are just straight up abusing the world. You know? It says, uh... Neither the things that are in the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And what are uh, these women are a thing of the world? You know, they're a thing of the world. That's why, like I said, if 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 it was a woman where a man, like she was, like let's say it's a woman, she's down for the man that she's with, and and she's she's looking at him like a woman of the. Uh, of the the ancient days looked at the men like yes my lord and you know I'm a I'm a follow you no matter what you know 
like even if you told me to jump, like I'm gonna ask you how high, you know, whatever type of direction you want me to do, then that's what I'm gonna do. And that's for for the man, because if you if you if you chose to be with that man and you can't listen to his his uh his judgment, then why are you with that man? Why you why did you choose to to sit there and be with that man? You know, you need to to, to, to be listen to whatever he say. That's the same way for us as men, okay? Under Yahweh Shah, okay? Whatever Yahweh Shah say for us to do, we supposed to just be like, oh, that's an order? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, you know? And then you gotta look at why would you wanna build a future in, in America? You got fucking people out here just driving like fucking maniac, you know? Your own people looking at you with, with you know, that evil eye, can't even raise children here. You know, it says, um, it says, if any man loved the world, the love of the father is not in him. You know, so, so we supposed to put our love, okay, in our affection on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Because fuck this world, man. So, okay, getting tired of fucking waking up to go to work. Get tired of all this, these fucking heathens. You know, I'm getting tired of this shit, man. You know? Nigga woman. I'm getting tired of this shit, man. You know? Want 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 to, to, to be able to live in a world where I don't have to worry about whether I whether, whether I'm going off, you know, from off uh, for doing something with for 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 your help I see outside, man. It's good to say we, you know, we looking for that world to where we can serve the Lord without without fear, man. You know? And that's that's what I want, you know, because this place, you don't you don't you don't know. We, I hope that I'm a part of the elect, but you don't know whether you are the elect or not, man. And I want to be able to, to to say, yeah, I am a I, I am a man of the Lord, and I won't know that until Yahweh Shai comes back, man. You know. But that's what my hope is that is that man. Not in this this fucking filth, man. Especially in Baltimore, they got this place named as one of the the, the, the the most dangerous place in the in America. But there's low ass bit of people here, all these vacant houses and shit. This is uh Second Peter three and uh nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The word promise means guarantee. Okay, how about some of y'all a man of his word? Okay, if he says that he's going to do something, then that's what he says he's going to do. Okay, he says that he's going, if we ask for the heathen, in his name he's going to give it to us, then that's what he's going to do. Okay, because I want slaves. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, and, and a man of the Lord should want that. He should want power. Okay, righteous power. Knowing, to, knowing what to do with it and what not to do with it, okay? And, and with that comes, you know, the wives and the concubines and, you know, the, the, the righteous brothers ahead of all that, okay? One, be able to dwell in, in righteousness and peace, man. And here it's not, it's not peace, okay? It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. It says, uh, but as long suffering to us work, right? He's patient with us. Okay. It says, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And those that all that's going to come to repentance is the elect. Okay. The ones that are going to change their ways. You know? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night when these people least expect it, man. Okay? And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Okay, that's some thermonuclear missiles coming down and destroying this place, man. You know? And and uh when that happens, the elect are gonna be looking looking down on this place, okay, as it's being destroyed. You know? Ain't gonna be like, oh, dad, that go that that go that guy who thought that the earth was flat, he just got popped, 
You know? That missile just fucked him up. You know? Gone. Uh, the brother, uh, uh, Thumyad Mahar, you know, Shalom, brother, it's, uh, Hebrews 13 and 14. For, for here we have, I mean, have we no continuing city? Okay? It says, uh, but we seek one to come. You know, because we, we, <laughs> like I said, like here in Baltimore, man, there's so many vacant houses, man. They, 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 uh, regentrifying the area. So much racism, you know? You, you, you buy a house and, you know, niggas move into your neighborhood, just take, take the whole value of the neighborhood down, <laughs> you know? Here in Baltimore, they, they, uh, fucking, uh, riding and shit. You know, these niggas out here uh, tearing up their own neighborhoods. Like, nigga, you got to go live in that same shit, too. <laughs> you know? So we got to live around these dumbass, gay-ass people, man. You know, it's a lot of these fucking homosexuals and shit, too, man. Trans Transgenders and shit. You know? It says, in the which the heavens so pass away with a great noise and the elements... So melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know? So all of this stuff is going to be wiped away, man. You know? So what manner of persons should you, should you be? Should you be in that mindset like, yo, uh, how was I, if you knew that the Lord was coming, you know, tomorrow, which a lot of these people, if they did know that the Lord was going to come, come back tomorrow, they're going to be sitting up there like, yo, I got a, uh, shit, man, I'm going to go try to go get me another McDonald's burger, you know, I'm going to go try to, you know, live it up as much as I possibly can in America because, you know, how was I coming back tomorrow, you know, that's the wrong mindset to be in, man. You know, if your house side was coming back tomorrow, we should be able to be like, man, we wish the house side came back today, right now. You know? We wish the missiles dropped right now, man. You know? Not no not another second. You know? We don't want we don't want this place to continue to go on, man. Cause it's filthy, man. You know? So um I'm gonna get one more scripture and I'm gonna end the lesson. Okay. This is uh Micah two and uh ten. It says, uh, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. <laughs> and that's that's clear as day. America is not something that you want to build a future in. You know? We want that, we want the kingdom. Okay? It says, because it is polluted, and it is really polluted, it's filthy, you know? America is, is trash, from the water to the, to, the, to the land, to the air, everything is polluted, man, you know? It says, it shall destroy you, even, even with a sure destruction. And the scriptures are talk about, you know, these people's eyes are going to consume away, you know, because they're going to be, when they, when the missiles come, they're going to be crying, man, because uh, they ain't going to know what the heck to do at that point in time. Everything that they, that they stood for, you know, at, is, is going to be uh, wiped away, you know, everything. And it's going to be like, uh... You're going to have some people, you know, when the missiles come, they ain't going to know what the heck they're going to be thinking about, you know. But you got to know that with those those missiles, the, the lives that are going to be uh, gone, they, all those people that that uh, passed away, you know, they all, they all have demons on them, you know. They all are, are demonic, and the Lord just has to wipe all that stuff away and replenish the earth. You know, but all those people, a lot of those people, 
are going to be people who thought that their future was here in America, okay, but it's, it's, it's going to be uh, gone, you know? And a lot of these uh, these heathens, they're going to they're gonna know um, that uh, that this place uh, is, is through also. A lot of them going to be gone, especially when they see these uh, riots and stuff like that happening. They gonna be up. They gonna get up out of there. You know, you ain't gonna see no more. They they gonna take their Seven Elevens and you know their little Chinese stores and stuff like that and go back home, man. You know, because Babylon is through, man. You know, Babylon is is done. Okay. So with that, man, you know, I'm gonna say uh, selling warm till next time.